Welcome to the issue preview for Sound on Sound November 2011. Here I'll be giving you a quick rundown of some of the product reviews you can expect to read. First up we have the Olympus LS20M. This very compact digital audio recorder is also fitted with a tiny lens and can record 1080p HD video as well as audio. Since it's performing two functions there's two separate screens on the front, uh, one for monitoring your video and playing it back and the other for monitoring the audio levels. It's simple to switch between the two modes, video and audio, with a switch on the side. It also has more than its fair share of options, which can be accessed via the menu screen here on the front and using the 4-way switch. The Slate Audio Fox is a rather fetching two-channel preamp. It can be run in both vintage and modern modes. The modern mode is a, well, modern, clean preamp, and the vintage mode will give you a lot more mid-range saturation. It also has a setting called Combo that lets you combine a vintage input with a modern output, for example, or vice versa. The new Alesis IO Dock is designed to be the simplest possible audio interface for your iPad. You slide the iPad or the iPad 2 with a supplied adapter into the dock and you're ready to go. There are two microphone preamps on the unit, both with phantom power, and you can even use the device with standard MIDI cables or USB MIDI. There's also a built-in headphone amp, as well as outputs to drive monitors. Believe it or not, it's not too often that everyone here at SOS gets excited about a speaker stand. But the Ardan Evolution Pro M1s are something quite special. The monitors are decoupled from the stand itself, which is further decoupled from either your meter bridge or your monitor stands, using a specially designed custom mat that you can see here. There are also plenty of markings all over so you can make sure that both of your monitors are pointing at precisely the same angle. Well, that's all for now. If you like the previews you've seen here, be sure to pick up the November 2011 issue of Sound on Sound and read our in-depth reviews in full.